Hey guys, welcome to Gumble TV. Hey guys. Brought to you by Hobby League Japan. This is episode 227. 227? And we got a pile of plamo. We have a bunch of stuff show up we last do. week. There's and I, a mountain over there. I got my stuff here and I see you got your stuff ready over there. Yeah, you've chosen florist. The, maybe you're going to go with the, the florist there. I've got my build strike out just because I had them on the stand. So. Uh -huh. um, before we get into showing all these kind of things, mm. We should announce that the uh, the decal campaign uh, kits have arrived. They have. They have arrived. So if you have your pre-order in, or if you want to order one, that should still be ongoing. Mm -hmm. And we threw Did a link in the last episode so people can see. Oh, so okay. there you go. We'll talk about uh, that maybe a bit later when we talk about this stack again. Mm. Um, I'm going to move this to, to the front here. Shall to the I side. move them off to the side? Yeah, move your florist for now. Because, Todd, uh, it's your lucky day. Remember this thing was just a big shadow when we saw it in Shizuoka? Yeah. Mobile Armor Hashmar. Hashmar. And we've Hashmar. seen it in the anime now, too. Yes. This is a pretty exciting thing, actually. It's kind it's of pretty really... cool. Just really changed the anime once it appeared. It's like... There's a huge mobile armor now in this yeah. show. That's like cool. Metal Gear came to attack. Yeah. <laughs> Hashmar reminds me of like maybe a summon in like Final Fantasy XII. I can't remember. But... Uh, because this is notable for being such a large IBO kit, mm. I thought we'd open up the box. Why don't we do okay. that? Okay. Open up this box. First thing I see, well, some large pieces, of course. Look at these large pieces. And flipping it over, Quibble. Oh, yeah, it kind <laughs> of is like a giant Quibble. Large pieces. And in here, uh, plenty of stickers in here, and they're going to be fitting on maybe some of these areas. There's a lot of large stickers in there. We do have effect parts here. They look like they might uh, sandwich together, actually. And then there's some dark parts in here. This is probably making up the body, I guess. And more white. Lots of these panel lines on these new IBO kits. Mm -hmm. And the base. Okay. Recognize this base? Looks familiar. Yeah, it looks familiar. I just saw it in that big Zaku box. This is the same base that they use for Zac the Zaku MG Psycho, and it's uh, base five. But in here, they've included this wire. The wire. Uh -huh. So you're going to be using that. And you can see in the manual. I think that's kind of where, yeah. where that comes into play. So, yeah, you have yourself quite a big, quite a large box for an IBO kit. This guy's a monster. I hope they don't do 1 100 of this guy. And a new type of sword for Barbatus Lupus. Oh. oh, man, that's going to get you excited. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. They're continuing the. Let's put new things in with the, uh, <laughs> or let's put new things for the old things in with the newer things. There you go. Hashmar. Yeah. Hashmar. The Hashmar. Uh, yeah, realizes both a wide range of movement and authentic details. <laughs> now, as much as I think this is cool and I want to build it, I, because I'm tied up with something right now. Mm, mm, a little small something. A little something something. I'm going to give that to you. Okay. There you go. So, you know. Have it ready by next week. I say no. that, but I'm not going to finish mine <laughs> because I'm working on this. If you didn't know, we did the unboxing <laughs> video for this. Yeah. Yeah. It went up live a few days ago, and uh, people are enjoying seeing what's inside this big, massive, possibly biggest MG box ever. Is it? Deal was pretty big. Ah. Deal. Uh, the Z perfect Xeon was pretty big. This this is big though. This is bigger than the Sabi. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's a big, big one. It's sizable. We've gone through and we've shown everybody uh, everything that's in this box. Mm. And we'll make a note that there's the premium decals yeah, and logo right print there. Print it so on the box. Print it on the box. So first production run, this is what the box looks like. After that, it's going to change. This will disappear. So there you go. So I'm going to put this here. Now, Todd, I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> or even start. I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. Um, we both have a stack of stuff to show. We do. So I think we should go like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Maybe start small, work out big. I don't sure, know. we could do that. So um, I'll, I think I'm going to start with the boogoo, boogoo, which I finished. You got the boogoo ready? I got the boogoo done. Okay. So I'm ready to boogoo. You want to boogoo down? Yeah, I do. <laughs> and uh, what do you want to start with? Maybe we'll go with Oh, should I go with the good one? It's up to you. I mean, oh, this is, oh yeah. he could not wait. He could not Look wait. Look at those curves. All right. You know, it's not every day you get to build and talk about a model that's of that a 14 year old girl. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason for that, Tom. <laughs> a 14 yeah. year old, yes. So, this is welcome, welcome everyone. So, this is uh, f the Fumina Hoshino bust. Yeah. And she's from 
Gundam Build Fighters yeah. try, and yeah. it's a group of junior high school students that mm -hmm. go off to a Gundam championship to fight with their Gunplas. So, okay. yeah. yeah, she's a she, it's an interesting looking figure. Yeah, I know she got the jacket on her. Maybe we, she's a little cold. <laughs> we do. So yeah, if you guys kind of maybe Georgia. noticed before, she was missing a jacket. So talking about it, figure why not put the jacket on? Yeah. So we can. G discuss this one. windy because that jacket's like it is look at there. that that kind of got this nice windy gust going on here okay <sighs> okay it's an interesting looking kit now this is the third of the bus that i have actually put together and as far as construction goes i found this one to be the the best of the ones that i had put together the best or did like have say more interesting or well as far as construction it, it went together easily and okay. As far as the stickers, there wasn't actually a whole lot of stickers for this kit because we did the last mm -hmm. one I did was the Macross, the Macross girl, and yeah. that was just stickers, everyone. But for this kit, the only stickers you have to worry about are the nameplate here on the base, yeah. and then the black lines for her shirt. What about and, the blue happy face? And the blue happy face, okay. that was it. But the the pink for the shirt, this is actually molded in plastic, maybe because they really wanted to make sure to accentuate the curves on. Yeah, this you don't bus, want to mess they, up your stickers. They, in the yeah, they, they were kind of worried the stickers would maybe kind of take away from that effect that they were going for. So they went through the trouble of actually molding that in pink just okay. for us. Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> I really appreciate that, Bandai. And the hair, Fumina's hair for this kid. It wasn't kind of like a big, complicated mm -hmm. Tetris, Tetris y <laughs> mess. It just kind of all went, went in simple. She's just got a big, a big piece here and then her ponytail just kind of pops in the back there's a couple a little bit of the pieces go together to make the ponytail mm -hmm. and her scrunchie just kind of flops over the end there and that's it and this kit, this kit also they do give you the choice you can have it with the nice elegant jacket on mm -hmm. or and this is of course in her famous uh, yellow color that she likes to use her the star winning or the the winning was it winning Gundam? Yeah, the star. The star winning, the winning Gundam. Winning is the first one. Yeah, that's also in yellow. Mm -hmm. So for the jacket, the arms pull off. You're gonna get separate arms and just. Okay. It's just kind of two halves that clamshell together. Although you have to assemble the many pieces in here to oh, actually make this this jacket in here. So it's a little bit okay. different, but it's not tricky at all. And there you go. So. I, while I have this off, I can kind of show off her back here. You can see more of these, the lines for the shirt. The black is stickers? The, all the black parts are stickers. Okay. So you just kind of overlap Let's them, see. and this little separate, the small back is a separate piece that you have to put in there before the sticker, because okay. then you kind of flap the black piece, the black, uh, they really went all out on the sticker, like how they engineered it, so make sure to give it a mm. nice realistic proportion. A realistic look and she comes with a second set of arms the bare arms the right to bear arms she has the right to bear arms now these only go in one way so you don't have to worry about putting the wrong arm on the wrong side mm -hmm. and there you go that's her with the arm off look okay. it looks pretty good and this is, of course, this is meant to go onto a display base, which I don't have with me. But if you had like another Fumina kit, then you could make a nice attach to the action display. base. Ah, oh, you know, it might be able I know to. A kid with the action base too. One thing I like about this is it has a little slot in the bottom so that you can hold the adapter. Yeah. You don't have yeah. to worry about losing it. So let's give this a try here. See if we can get it to attach to. This one, if this will work. Does it? Let's find out. I think so. There we go. Alright. Alright, so. Da, 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 da. And we can put it around the backpack. And there you go. So we have two Fuminas in plastic now, thanks to Bandai. What yeah. a interesting kit I have to say. What crazy times we live in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's pretty much it for the figure eyes bust Fumino Hoshino. Sexy.
Yeah, I guess, if you're into that. She's kind of young. <laughs> a little bit young, I guess. She was supposed to be junior high school student. Maybe. When I first came to Japan, well, not when I first came to Japan. I'd been here some time, but then some people I knew uh, came to Japan. And they're mm. like, Sid, I don't understand. And I'm like, what is it? I'm like, well, you know, you see that cute girl in the subway? I'm like, yeah, there's lots of cute girls in the subway. Right. He's like, I don't know if she's 15 or if she's <laughs> 35. And I'm like, yeah, you got to be careful. Just be a gentleman. Track yeah. of a conversation. You never know. know. You never know. Be careful. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The Fumina. I wonder what they're going to follow that up with. I mean, <sighs> is there another character they could figure out some bust like that? I don't know. With a removable jacket and what else? Yeah. Time will tell, I guess. I'll have to see. Okay. Future lacrosse kids. Is it my turn? Sure. Okay, because I got a boogoo. I'm ready to boogoo. Yeah. I did it, everybody. I completed the boogoo. It's here. I was supposed to do it last week, right? Right. But I didn't, but I powered through it, you know, with my wounded hand. <laughs> it was healed enough that I could go through and I could finish the boogoo. Um, there's not really a lot that I need to do to go into detail when it comes to this kit. It uses, for the most part, the Zaku origin frame. And where it differs in certain areas, you can kind of see, uh, obviously, in the, the legs. It has a different knee joint to accommodate, I guess, the different armor in there. So you're ended up with, you know, unused parts here. And the ankle joint, you can see on the Zaku Origin kits, it has a straight ball joint. Mm. But on this guy, it's actually angled. So you have your feet kind of turning down. So even uh, standing, you can stand him up, but inside there, the, the ball joint and the frame is actually angled down. I guess they want to help you get this kind of pose a little easier, splay out the legs. Um, you're also not using this neck piece in here. Mm -hmm. That's because, I'll uh, take that off in there. You can see the neck piece in here has little uh, vents at the top, part of the boo boo design there. So there you go. When it comes to like putting these tubes on, it's pretty simple. They don't move, they're just solid plastic. You just push them into the recesses, same as on the bottom of the back here, but on the leg it's just like the Zaku. You know, you, you can you can kind of pull them off. You're meant to bend the leg and here, move this out of the way. Stick that in there like that, and then connect it in here, and it should stay right. There right. you go. That's just simple enough. Nothing fancy on these HG kits, but they make up for it in their articulation and overall look. I think they are fantastic to look at. Now, you can also uh, notice this little, how do you say, spines, splines in here. Is that the right word? Mm. Um, they allow your head, mono eye, to turn. So, did I, I probably should have corrected that before I pulled it off, but your mono eye will turn. Similar to the Zaku uh, 2.0 design when they originally showed it. Come on. Oh, yeah. This is uh, new parts in here. This is not from the Zaku One Origin. These oh, are new okay. parts as well for the neck. So I was kind of surprised at that. But it does allow you to to do that. Now maybe I need to reset this this piece in here before I can get show you that eye action. So let me pull this off. Make sure my eye is pointed where I want it in the center. Sorry, everybody. Doing some impromptu building here on my Bugu review. So I'll put this back together. Hopefully it's in the right spot. Mm. I'm going upside down. Huh? Hopefully you didn't Bugu it. <laughs> I Bugu'd it up. See, it just slides around. Stop sliding around. I have to show something here. Get back there. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm going to take a different approach to this just because I want to make sure I can show it properly. Stick that through there. You can see. And it will just turn new, new, new. And you kind of really got to be careful with just how, because of how small those those are. So now I'll show you here without putting the top on. As I turn my my neck. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, everybody? And then it pops off. Okay, get on there. So now let's put the top of the boo boo head on, and then we get there. We go. So I didn't boo boo anything up, as Todd said. <laughs> It's all boogity good. Although, 
this next piece is turned. I guess I should try to get it straight before I put that straight head on. Okay. All right, everybody. There you go. Uh, the shield is pretty simple. It's just one piece with another piece on the bottom there. And you do have the handle, but you have a, a piece there, which will connect it to his arm. You have the submachine gun. Mm. Flips over like that. That's about it. And you have the gripping hand. You are given just the normal hands, if you like. But you're also given the two heat hawks that come with Ooh. the... Uh, you know, the origin Zaku kits. So he can hold a heat hawk if he likes. Although I prefer submachine guns, of course. Heat hawk. And uh, you can plug it into the side, I guess, if you like as well. Uh, keep them on the hips. Yeah. Only one, though, right? Because this one's meant for the hands. There you go. And you were also given, and I thought this is kind of strange, a stand adapter. Oh, yeah, normally there's a hole in the bottom. You just plug it in and you're standing, right? right? No, nope, not this one. You need to... Oh, he doesn't have a hole. No. He... Not like a cover covering yeah. up a hole either. No, he doesn't have any of that. You have to do that. Oh. And then drop it onto your action base. So I, I thought that was strange. I was like, wait a minute. I can't just drop it onto my action base? Oh, well. Maybe I'll put my heat hawk on this side. There you go. Now, I still have some work to do. i got to put the stickers on him. There they are. But I kind of like the look of this guy in the blue, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll paint him, seeing as he's all blue, and it should be pretty easy to paint. So I might do that before I put any of these markings on. He's actually somewhat subdued in the marking department compared to like some of the other origin. Yeah, I guess that is kind kids. of a smaller yeah. sticker sheet. And lots of them you have to do the entire leg sections and stuff. But here it looks like you're just kind of putting on warning decals and numbers. So he doesn't have the racing stripes that the other kids have, but he still looks pretty cool. He still looks pretty cool. Bugu. I want to say fugu, like the fish in Japan. <laughs> yeah, have some fugu for lunch? No, it's poisonous. <laughs> there you go, the bugu. It looks cool. It does look cool. I'm really liking the, the tubing along the top there. It's mm. a different kind of look. It is cool. A lot of blue. A lot uh, of blue. I might, might paint this guy. I don't know. He's you could cool. make like a hall of armor of goof models. <laughs> goof models. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, actually, the uh, next thing I want to talk about, actually, is the Zaku one. Oh, Char Zaku one. And um, mm, i got to be honest, I didn't get it done. <laughs> okay. Okay? Because uh, <laughs> something else showed up. Yeah, so... Another kind oh, wait, of Zaku. wait, there's a Zaku in my Zaku box. Oh, we got twin Zakus going on. Yeah, so here's... here's that looks a bit big for an HG yeah, kit. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so, um, I was thinking, oh, i got to crack into the Zaku one to show everybody. Mm. And then when I started looking through the box and everything else, mm. um, all the runners in this Zaku 1 kit are the same runners in this kit, except <laughs> for this, this, this runner. Which is runner the Zaku 2? <laughs> no, this is the, the only unique runner that comes in the kit. All the rest of them are from the origin Zaku. Uh, okay. This is this G runner is the only unique one for the Charge Zaku 1, and that features mm. you know the band here we looked at. So I thought, well, I could build this kit, but basically it's going to look exactly like this except red. Mm. Right, for the most part in that yeah, backpack, right? It's going to move the same, the joints the are going to go together the same. And the shield. Yeah, so uh, rather than kind of building the same kit twice and talking about it on the show twice, um, I thought I'd get started on the Cycle Zaku, and I did. And then I thought, uh, out, you know what, maybe I need to go into the Zaku 1 box anyway. Uh-oh. Yeah? Check this out. So this is the sticker sheet for the HG Zaku 1, mm. and then all the origin Kits, for the most part, have quite a bit of stickers on the sticker yeah, sheet. Yeah, nice stickers. Proto, Proto Dom was one of the best ones. Now, this sticker sheet, if you look right there, oh, something's been used. Something has been used. Yeah, <laughs> you know where it's been used? <laughs> In the eye for my Psycho Zaku. Oh, okay. Because when I was building this and I got to the head and it said, put on decal number 94, from that giant de decal uh, sheet. Decal water sheet. slide decal. And it's a water slide. And I'm like... I don't want to get all my water slide stuff just to put an eye on my Zaku. Mm. And uh, you know what? I wonder if I can find an alternative. And I went to my <laughs> stack and pulled out that Zaku because I know when you're building your, your Zaku ones and your denim and your slenders and uh, all your boogoos and whatever else you're building, you're given these two stickers for eyes mm. and you choose this one or you choose this one. Well, I always go with this one because I think it looks cooler, uh. which means I had a couple of these laying around. Yeah. So I cut out... Or I pulled out the, the sticker for my Zaku 1, and I put it on there. And it wasn't quite big enough to cover that transparent part. <laughs> so what I did is I took my knife, and I cut around 
the pink and I took some more of there and then I put it on over top of the sticker and I pushed it on there and it almost looks like it has a little bit of a curve there as it goes around the, uh, the yeah. curve on the that's transparent piece. Yeah. So those people out there who've got your Psycho Zaku and you don't want to bust out your decal stuff just to put an eye on, leave the head to later or mm. if you have one of these sticker sheets lying around, if you built an HG Origin Zaku of some kind, you'll have a sticker to use. There you go. That's my word of advice for today. <laughs> So maybe I will have this done soon and I can talk about it, although I've got another Zaku to talk about. Mm. And this is how far I got last night. First day with the kit, put in a good three hours, maybe. Three hours. Two and a half hours, maybe. It's tricky. Oh, man. There Could you imagine if we, did, if we did the live build, though? Yeah, exactly. That would be the <laughs> slowest the live up. build ever. <laughs> Just the chest yeah. and the head. It went together. The chest went together fine for the most part. Then you start having to, you know, put these stuff mm. on the side here. And some of the fit is just so precise that if you don't have something lined up when you're trying to squeeze it together, it's not going to work. I found that out with the cockpit hatch, which opens. Mm -hmm. I'll talk about all that when it, this guy is done. So give me another week. Hopefully it'll be finished and we'll talk about it on the show. So no Zaku one for me, except for that sticker I just talked yeah. about. Well, you, did, you got the boo-boo, so. I do. I did, I did the boo-boo. So now, um, Todd, I guess uh, you want to move on to number two for you? Should I? Go with the floors. Go with the floors? Yeah. All right. Use the floors. <laughs> Use the floors, Luke. <laughs> Iron-Blooded Orphans. IBO. IBO, we're back with another new kit. And this is a Tekadon. They, they somehow, they were doing some mining on Mars and they just dug up a new, a new Gundam kit. Yeah. You just gotta go to Mars and get one of those metal detectors and yeah. <laughs> just start digging for Gundam frames and apparently. Coke cans and Coke cans and mobile armors and it's all sorts of fun stuff on Mars. But yes, anyway, this is the new Gundam Floros Ryusei Go. Yeah. Cause the pilot of this mobile suit, what was his name? Norbashino, all of his Ryusei Go mobile suits have to be this color. So before yeah. we saw the uh he had the grays and he colored it this color. He also had that eye on it too. Remember the yeah. grays? Yeah. go had the eye. Yep, yeah. yep. He's got that one too. So now he's got a new mobile suit. He's finally upgraded to a Gundam frame. And Did he always just pick the, the, the mobile suits out of the dirt and just paint them? <laughs> but yeah, basically. Well, the first suit he had, that grays was just one that uh, from they, they kind of stole and they just kept yeah. redoing it. It's like a hand-me-down. And so that one, that one's still in service. It just keeps getting. Ha Wait, no, that one was destroyed at the end of first season. Just okay. kept keeps getting handed down, and handed down. But anyway, this is about the new kit. That's right. The new Floros, and boy, what a kit this is! So last week, the Vidar, that was kind of that was a fun kit to build. But mm -hmm. this one really kind of takes the cake as being one of the most liked Gundam. Uh, Iron-Blooded Orphan kits, I think, that I've built to date. Okay. So let's kind of take a look and talk about this. Just looking at this kit already, you can tell something is missing from it that we don't usually, or that we've had on all the other Iron-Blooded Orphan kits. Can you guess what that is? On every other Iron-Blooded Orphan kits? Yeah, pretty much on it or all in of it? them. The frame? What? what are we talking about? Well, just something that comes equipped with them. You're putting me on the spot here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know what you're asking me about. Uh, this is kind of the first of the Iron-Blooded Orphan kits where all he has is guns. Oh, and so he's missing a melee weapon. He ha yeah, he's no, he has no melee weapons. It's just guns. He's full of guns. So he's not missing something. Well, he just has things in place of things. He does. Okay. Even on the, on the Vidar, we had the, he had the knife feats and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. But guns, guns, guns. It's okay. When he, he's ready to melee, he does something else. <laughs> yep, he can. Maybe. We'll have to see in a bit. So on the back, you can tell right away, he's got these giant rail guns yeah. that kind of just stick off of his backpack there. He seems pretty solid for something with such a big gun slash backpack. He does. He's got a pretty nice, good-sized backpack there, but he doesn't really fall over, and he can stand. But his feet kind of have like an extra back support i guess yeah. you could say so non-ibo ish plus they're not uh stilettos like we see on the lupus yeah, and exactly. some of those other kids they're actually nice kind of flat feet for good for combat mm -hmm. so he also has big guns on there and he has some machine guns that were specially developed for the floros it says in the manual mm -hmm. 
So you can kind of get that uh, heavy arms look with uh, <laughs> the full cannon array going yeah. on here. But it's the freedom. He's the, the freedom? Was that the freedom? Oh, freedom okay. has the things on the top that come on the wings. Strike freedom has the, the uh, guns on the side. Right, right. Well, this guy's got no wings, though. Yeah. Maybe he needs to go out and drink some Red Bull. Maybe. Red Bull will give him some wings. Get some kit mods going on. <laughs> you can kind of get a look at the backpack. He's got some quite a bit of stuff going on as far as his backpack goes. Mm -hmm. Now, looking at these pieces, you would kind of think that they are thrusters, kind of how they... Mm -hmm. They jut out and look like they've got uh, pieces on the back, and okay. I don't think that is the case. Okay. These guns on top, they're going to get bigger. Oh my goodness. And how is that possible, you might ask? I hope you show me. Well, we're about to find out. Okay. This kit has a pretty nifty gimmick as well. And are you ready for it? I'm ready. Let's just go into it. All right, so to transform this kit into... It's mode. Is this the first of the transforming Iron Blooded Orphan kits Must as be. well? Yeah. I kind, of, I think so. We're going to just bend down his machine well, guns here. Well, unless count the Kimar's trooper. Ah, oh, changed the into troop, trooper mode. They called the it trooper mode. Yeah, the trooper mode. That's right. Well, I guess that one counts. All right, so we're going to bend up these guns, so we're going to get everything kind of nice and flat. Nice doll. Now, the guns kind of can plug into the back here, but there's no click or patchy noise. Mm -hmm. They just kind of settle into the hole, basically. Okay. All right, so we got everything kind of straight and back as far as the backpack and the guns go. Let me see if I can do this transformation today without any parts falling off. Wish me luck. All right, so the next up, we are going to, on the front, it has this kind of... Yeah part that moves up so we're going to move that up the head can kind of just kind of angle oh, it down kind of a holds bit it in there? well it doesn't really hold it oh, just okay. gives it some extra look i guess okay and the arms just kind of make sure that they're out a little bit yeah and then next up what you're going to want to do is bend the arms like so and you're going to pull out his arm guards there Mm -hmm. Now the arm guards are kind of going to become the new feature. And next up, we're going to take his waist torso, and we're going to <laughs> it's an insecticon. turn it 180 okay. degrees, yeah. and then we're going to bend the legs. We're going to kind of maybe want to split them out a bit so we can get some better support. And put it down on the table. And make sure this backpack part, which has the eye stickers on it, mm -hmm. you're kind of going to slide that out a bit, and it just kind of nests on top of the head. Okay. So I'm not really looking to secure it connectly, just kind of put it on over there. There we go. Make sure these arms are. And there we have, we can put these guns so that they're facing up. So this isn't given some kind of animal name for this mode. This is just called shelling mode. Okay. Oh, it should be stuck in there. Yeah, that's good enough. There you go. So I guess when he, whenever he wants to transform into shelling mode, mm -hmm. it gives the guns, the guns have, uh, they gain this extra piece here, so they have some extra firepower for the rail guns here. Okay. And there you go. Not really supposed to like move around at all. I think it just kind of transforms and then sits on top of a cliff somewhere and <laughs> just shoots people as a sniper. So if you play those uh, FPS shooters, I know how much everybody loves snipers. Campers! But campers! Yep, Ryusa goes and just a camper. Well, anyway, that I think that'll be about it for the new Floros. I really like this kit. It was a fun kit to build and it's got a cool transformation. It's got some cool looking guns. I guess I should mention that these parts here are stickers, mm -hmm. so but not so bad. Not a whole lot of stickers for this kit, just these pink things here and the eye pieces for the head. And that's about it. All right. Isn't that interesting, though? <laughs> now, at first I thought it looked like a dog. Now I think it looks like kind of like a crab. Yeah, it's kind of got this or kind scorpion. of scorpion, scorpionish crab-looking claws in the front. It is cool. It's different. It's it's unique for 
an iron blooded orphan's kit. Oh, it's a unique for any Gundam, yeah. <laughs> I think it was one dog kit from way back when. Oh. The booty, you know, the. Oh, I'm going to embarrass myself here that I cannot remember it is. Uh, it there's is. one from Seed, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. The orange one? No. There's. Mm. Anyway, we'll, <laughs> we'll find it. But uh, yeah, another dog kit to the, add to the lineup. I do like it in robot mode with the back, those things on the back. Yeah, it's got some huge cannons. Missiles, but cannons, but that definitely is uh, it is something. It's unique. Okay, um, now I got the, to talk about the big the big kit for this week. You know the RG because mm. next week's the even bigger one. Um, but uh, you had one more kit. We, I did. Yeah. You ready to hear about it? Yeah. <laughs> Would it be a surprise if I told you that I didn't live up to my side of the bargain to make the cat? <laughs> Where's his friend? He he's needs Sorry, his he's got to fly solo this stray time. Stray black cat course. Cat was ready to go until this guy showed up a day <laughs> earlier than expected. <laughs> oh, yeah. poor cat course. Do you yeah. want me to talk about my... Yeah, bring on the dog. My woof woof. Who let the dogs out? Tough, 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 tough. All right, we're going to take a petite look at the new petite guy. This is... Woof, woof, white, mm -hmm. and dog coast. Mm -hmm. Now he is missing his other half. There should be a black, wait, wait, wait. What was it? Stray, stray black cat coast, but Shut stray up. black cat coast is, could not make it today. Mm -hmm. He's out uh, doing his stray cat strut. So. That's right. <laughs> you so. can never count on the stray cat. Like <laughs> They just do their own thing. He just, he just, they just, he do just wandered thing. off on they his own. They wander off and then they cry in the middle of the night in the middle of the street and they come back with mice or whatever and they sit on your backlog because you've got another monster MG to build. Yeah, yeah. With those stray cats. Those stray cats. Yeah. But anyway, the dogs are reliable. Dogs yeah. will never let you down. They're man's best friend. <laughs> man's best friend. But actually, technically, this is not really a dog. Okay. This is a petite bear wearing a, because it says on the box, dog cos. Cos yeah. being short for costume, okay. like cosplay. You got a cosplayer. He's got, yeah, we got Gundam Bear, Tiny Bear Gundam cosplayers. I guess that's not something you say every day, but yet here we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can tell they have changed it by giving him these new floppy ears. Yeah. Look at that, and these are hollow inside. There's no white pieces that slide on the inside there. Okay. The rest of the bear guy, though, is the same, although he does have a new, and let me take this thing off so you can see better. He has a new tail. All right. He looks happy. He looks happy. You can looks twist it from to side to side. Causing. You can pose it. He's happy. Okay. There you go. And All it comes right. with a new display base. Yeah. In this wonderful turquoise green color, just yeah. like my grandmother's old refrigerator. And my old washing machine. <laughs> with the nice <laughs> chrome badges. That's right. They, sh they should bring this color back for electronics. Americana. Could you imagine an iPhone in this color? Yeah, I could. <laughs> that would be splendid. Yeah. Tim Cook, I know you watch these videos. It's a future <laughs> idea for you. All right. Well, I have the display here. Now, you'll notice when you go to put the Poochie Guy on the display base, oh, yeah. the tail's kind of going to get in the way. So yeah. you'll need to kind of twist. Okay. Twist it a bit. There you go. Yeah. And then it can just fasten on just like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Looks like he's enjoying his cosplaying. His cosplay and he's got his costumes on. He's ready for Halloween, although he's a few months late or a few yeah. months early, depending on if you're a glass half full or a glass half empty. You know, cosplay kind of isn't a one-time thing, Todd. That's cosplay true. Is lifestyle. In Japan, I guess. Yeah, you could do it every so, day. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. All right, well, stay tuned, guys, because we got more petite Pucci guys bears on the way. So we'll be back with more later. Yeah. There we go. That's all there is to it. You know, if I did build a cat, we, I'd just be saying the exact same thing. So <laughs> and it's yeah. pretty cool. It's cool. I mean, they look cute. And yeah. once you get like a hundred of them all lined up, <laughs> just into one big mass of. They can each have like a dancing pose, so it's kind of like. <laughs> You can't do much, too much with the posing, but maybe you can make it try to do the, the group. <laughs> yeah, they're doing the wave and that's or something. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So, I guess we'll, I'll do my build strike. I've got him on the stand here because I was playing around. Build with him, but, strike. Uh, I'll take him off of here and talk about him and probably build, uh, transform that build booster back. Ooh. Yeah. So there's a lot to talk about. Okay. Give me a second here. Okay. There you go. 
Here is my full package. Yeah. Yeah. The, Looks great. Did you like it? Do you like that Build Strike full package? Yep. The first Build Fighter's real great. Yeah, it's coming right at you. He's got the uh, the side cans out here with the handles. I guess that's what they are. He's, he's holding on to them. Um, it's pretty standard for an RG, I guess. I mean, it's based off the Ale Strike frame, Ale Strike Gundam, which is a really great kit, but one of the earlier RGs. So, uh, in some areas they've changed it, and it holds together very well. Um, I'll probably take it off the stand now, though, because I need to talk about various things here, and the stand can get in the way. So, let me just pull that off. There's the adapter there. So, here he is, and you probably noticed that with that giant backpack. He could possibly be a little back heavy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he does okay, but that's a lot of weight back there. Um, what I like to do is I like to pull up, pull these guns out of the way, and you can close those handles, swing them kind of upwards at the back out of the way, mm -hmm. and then you know I give him my. Super beam rifle. Ooh. Check this thing out. Now I gotta make sure I got all the accessories I'm gonna need, so I'll let me move this box over here because he comes with this giant beam rifle. I guess that's what it is. The Chob Chobham Shield. That's what that's called, I think. Hmm. And it will just plug with that RG frame piece in the back of his arm there. Conk. There you go. He has a shield. And I guess I'll pull this hand off here, the RG style hands, and I'll put on this pre-molded hand. There you go. So he's got his giant weapon, just chilling with a beam rifle. Love the beam. Um, he does come with a pilot figure. Check that out. Oh, okay. Look how small it is, because it's a child, right? Right. That yeah. is a small, small pilot figure. Well, I mean, in the series, actually, they're just. Uh building the model and fighting with the model itself so there's not technically really a pilot inside yes the... it's a child <laughs> who builds models that's what i mean but there he is right there tiny tiny guy um aside from the you know rg style hands that bend you also get the rg hands that come on that runner mm. and normally when you build these rg kits you pull these off you build the arm and then you put an armor piece on here and you plug it back in and there's your closed fists. But not with this guy. With this guy, I guess I gotta find these closed fists here. Here they are. He, you're given extra molded hands just for the closed fists. Okay. This is the first time they've ever done that in an RG kit. Even the Shenandu didn't get closed fists. Huh. They made you lose, use these things. And they're the wrong size. Yeah, so there you go. They learned That's their a, lesson, maybe. Maybe. I mean, maybe they would have got yelled at a little bit um i'm going to take off the rifle here because i need to show you something so uh, they have the molded hand around there i think i've already mentioned but this this rifle it can change it can change so what you do is you pull this back and you tilt this part up hold on tilt up like so and you pull this off and you can push this piece right here shoot oh. back inside so now he has this little tiny like pistol, I guess, right? But you don't actually use it like that because you also have this piece here. And you kind of do that process I just showed, right? You plug it in enough that this thing pops out the back, drop it in there, and now I've got this kind of little hand. There he is. Pachoo pachoo. Pachoo pachoo. I'm kind of partial to this gun. Yeah. It's cooler. And you also have the handle here that will slide, slide forward so you can grip it. Right, so two hands if you need to. But this, I like the shape of that as well. So now, uh, I've got to point out that you have a lot of foil stickers. Dun, dun, dun. But I haven't done any of that yet. But you, except in these areas here, so I have, I have a clear part in there. Behind there is a sticker. In the shoulder here is a sticker. Um, and then I think that is it. Actually in here you have tiny little stickers as well. And along here is all the silver foils. And you're just covering with the transparent pieces. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll pull this off here. Now, you may may or may not notice it, but the back of the strike here and the connection here is exactly the same as the... Dun, 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 Hail Strike Gundam! Oh! Yep, here he is. The original, the OG. 
Strike Gundam. Here he is, and here he is, is, you know, slightly taller, more muscular, younger brother. Is that what we're going to call him? And uh, one thing I wanted to show, actually, let's get these guys standing beside each other, is that... Get in there. This guy, the new strike, the build strike, is taller. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Where's the extra height coming from? I'm going to show you right now, and I'm glad you asked. It comes from in here. Ooh. Right? That's the connection. On here, there's that no such piece. You just plug the RG frame into the RG frame, and you have, you know, your Gundam. Here you have the RG frame plugged into one little piece frame piece. Like a spacer. Like a spacer. And then you plug it in here. I mean, this is the same frame and the same foot frame, but you have a spacer in there, right? And that gives you just a little bit of extra height on this guy. So he's a little taller. But you also get kind of a little more play in here now, I think, mm. with the, your ankle, ankle armor. So I didn't think it was going to make that much of a difference, but it turns out that it does. I mean, it does look, it does look significantly taller in some ways right yeah he's taller more uh, kind of beefier in the chest bigger shoulders better proportions so, yes well i don't know i i'm part i really like the strike gundam i think it's an awesome design i really really like it but i mean this this design the way it is i also really like mm. um although the side skirts i never really do enjoy long side skirts but you know they did make the beam savers go on there um but Thing is, we got the sail strike out. I was gonna say, this is what you can do. We are going to give it a try here on Gumba TV. There we go. I have my Strike Ale Gundam, Build <laughs> Strike Ale Gundam, Build uh, Ale Strike, strike Gundam. Gundam. There, there he is. Go. I think that looks cool. <laughs> I don't know if this guy would look cool this way. It's definitely this. That backpack is lighter. Um, here we go. Come on, Alio. No, that's not bad. There's a lot yeah. of blue on that guy. Although, you know, this frame, he's, he suffers a little bit in the joints after all that weight goes on. Maybe I need the spacer a little bit. Oh, not bad. There you go. Um, I think the head for the new strike is much better. This one I know and sometimes this V-pin can come off and uh, cause you problems when you start losing it because it's so small. But this head, I never really felt I had any problems when assembling it. And uh, when you have these, whoop, that's just what happens with RGs. You have these frame areas here that stick out. So mm. when you're pushing these side parts on, you actually have to push with a, quite a bit of force just to get them to snap around there. Mm. But once you do, they're on there. And then as you can see my V-fin, uh, this white piece here is a separate piece and then the red piece. So you have one, two, three pieces going on there and holding it all together. It does work really well. I'll take this off. Bum, bum, bum. Put this back on. Oh man, I could totally like head swap and yeah, all that kind of could. stuff, but I'm not gonna do that because I have to show the transformation from your your build booster, right, from this form into the form it's going to take when it's on its own. Mm. So first things first, I guess. Let us turn the let's fold up these weapons. Actually, maybe turn the wings like this. Turn the wings like this. And it may be difficult to see, but there is a, a foil in there, right in there. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to see in this light. It's really small. Um, that is only visible when you have it like transformed to go on the back, because what happens is you actually have to kind of slide it in. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, like so. This you can fold up and out of the way, which is good. You can't fold it down. There's something blocking it, so it will always stay like this or like this. Okay, so let's let's push this in here too, all right? And then you can close up these wings, close up these wings. Of course, it can go like that, it can go like that, but kind of that's how it's supposed to be when it's in this form, right? Here we go. So um, we will pull this out of the way, and we will take these pieces back as far as we can here. I mean, you you're supposed to kind of fold it this way and fold this down. And you have several joint areas here that you have to manipulate to get these into their proper position. Like so. 
This looks good enough. And now this, this cool part, I thought this was really cool, is uh, you have this out. You can pop out a landing gear if I can get my mm. finger in there. Come on, landing gear. Pop out for me. My fingers are too big. You pop out the landing gear, then you slide this back, clink, and it'll stay out, and then you can just stick this guy on the ground there. There he is. Is that not cool? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Is that not cool? You can combine them? I don't know. I heard a rumor that maybe you can do it, but I've never actually tried it, but I'm not going. I'm not going to do it. Not going to do not it. Not going to do it. You can't make me do it. There you go. I like to turn these up a little bit. So there you go. That's the build booster. And you can put an action base on there and, you know, sit it on its own. But I prefer it kind of out of the way because I just like him the way he is. I think he looks really, really good. Like this. Mm. I like my Gundam simple. I'm a simple man, Todd. <laughs> I like my Gundam simple. That's why I'm going to let you finish. But the ale is Strike Gundam is one of the greatest designs of all time. <laughs> there you go, RG Build Strike. I got all the markings to put on, so I'm going to take them back home. But, uh, I'll get to that eventually. It looks Everything's nice. piling up. It's cool. I like it. It is cool. It's not my favorite RG, but I love RG, so it's cool. Yeah, well, we'll yeah. see more Build Fighters RG kits now. More to look forward to. <laughs> like you're trolling me. Okay, so Amazing comments. Zaku. All right, let's get into the comments. <laughs> yeah. And let's begin with the first comment from Gundarium Smith. Okay. Of Sounds all familiar. those special decal version cockets, I'd probably be most interested in the Sazabi. Yeah, I guess that's. I mean, everybody has their preference. Yeah. When we actually looked through kind of some of the boxes to look at the decal sheets, you know, my my thinking is. Go for the wing. Mm. It's never had decals before, but now it has real decals. Mm. Build it. It's, you know, a mix of the dry transfers and the decals, and you'll have a, a really good-looking wing. Nice Where's metallic decals, too. Yep. Yeah, they're nice they and shiny. They look nice. Blingy. Blingy, blingy. And I think all the decal sheets are the same size. Right. Right? So something like big like the, the Zaku or the Sasabi that have those big logos and numbers, mm. maybe you're... You're taking up a lot of real estate with that, so you're not getting mm -hmm. as many decals. But the wing it had, you know, the logo I think for the shoulder, but then the number. But other than mm -hmm. that, it seemed to have a lot of smaller ones. So right. Maybe it's some metallic red ones, I more, think, too. More decals for your money on things like the wing. Yeah. yeah. Do it it's a own. good idea. And the wing is not so expensive either. Yeah, it's probably the cheapest one in that group. Actually. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a bit older, but still yeah. good. All right, let's go on to the next comment from. Mold Runner. Okay. Ha ha. Ha ha. Haven't seen anything but laughed about the potato peeler incident. <laughs> laughed at my pain. <laughs> How's yeah. your finger doing? Actually, you can see. I, oh, you're missing some nail. I'm missing some nail. It was a lot worse well, than I hope that. You didn't I trimmed it. it down. No, you <laughs> trim it and take care of it, but it's much better. And uh, I had the band aid off a couple of days later when the bleeding stopped and I was able to put pieces together. Uh. Only dropped a couple. Only dropped a couple big things, I don't know, so. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for your sympathy. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> Accidents happen. It's just the way it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's move on to the next comment from Jave Mark, or is it Jave Mark, if you're reading it that way? Okay. Welp, there goes my wallet. <laughs> Bank accounts, house, and unnecessary organs. Kits will be the death of me. Yeah, if you're giving away your organs to try and get them. Oh, I wonder how many kids a kidney would go for. You might, might want to find <laughs> out. Uh, your backlog's not big enough, apparently. Yeah. I wonder if somebody's ever actually mortgaged their house or something just to, like... Buy more. Buy a ton of them. <laughs> I don't know. Probably. You never know. Or move There's into an people. apartment yeah. so you could yeah. keep building one. Yeah. Don't know who would do that. Desperate people. I don't know if they're desperate or just die hard. <laughs> right? So. Okay. Gun Gunpla is life. <laughs> Yeah, although if you had to, like, give away organs to build it, you might want to rethink it. But I think I'd keep my organs. Well, maybe. Not your house? Well, the Zaku's a nice kid. Yeah. I like my kidney. Yeah. What if they just asked you for, like, I don't know, an ear? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> an ear? Be like Van Gogh of Gundam. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Mm -hmm. 
Penafred. Okay. Penafred says, Vidar is actually the name of the Norse god of vengeance. Oh, okay. I wonder what character from last season that would actually want revenge. Hmm. Mm. Probably against a former friend. Mm. Gee. I wonder. Which Gundam from IBO season one mm. would want to exact revenge? And somebody that had a Gundam frame too. Huh. Hmm. There must be tons of people like that in the show though. I can't. I can't. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to keep watching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you in this mystery. <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah. Alright, we'll find out soon, maybe, <laughs> kind of friend. Okay. Alright. Ooh, so we, we got a smart person here now. The model making guru. Okay. Yeah, he should take over the show. Okay. Okay. The guru. Yeah. Guru, guru. Guru take over for the... <laughs> Carry you on. know, if you added, if you added add the Fumina hair to the Vidar, and would that make it a Vidar Sassoon? That's the joke you were trying to say last week when yeah. you said Vidar Saloon. Vidar Saloon. It was, was like, Sassoon. The, the Sassoon. The, the I didn't remember right. But you know what this comment reminds me of? <laughs> the Super Fumina slash Psycho Zaku head swap comment we had from last week, and we can actually do it. <laughs> We can try it out. So, funny, I don't break my Psycho Zaku three hours into it. Okay. Can your head come off easily? This it's not coming off so easily because it's. Okay. Oh, don't break that. No, no, I. I just wanted to pop off at this joint. I was I was hesitant to put it on last night like this, cause, cause I, but I wanted to take a picture, so I put it ahead, on ahead of time. Okay, so. We could rest it on there that. That joint's not. How I is mean, it going to work? I mean, if if you could take out that joint and somehow put that one, oh, you have that's to extend it. Yeah, you have to extend uh, it. So the only thing you could hope to do is like put the zaku <laughs> put the zaku head on the. On Does the that work? Now. So how it goes it this way? This way? Oh wait, wait! You got the tab. There's the tab has to go in a certain way. Maybe better to put that. Peg in for the oh, here we go. Now I gotta rip my head apart first. <gasps> okay, I haven't built this kit, I so I, I don't know. The back. Like this. Yeah. Is that how it is, or is it just upside down? Am I totally upside down? I, don't, I think it's equal lengths both sides. Well, you know, we're trying this on camera <laughs> first time, so this is like that, and it just bends forward. Right? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so really the best I can do here is have this this kind of look. Not <laughs> what I'm, not what I'm looking for. Right now. Yeah. So how would that work? Her? I mean, it is yeah, kind of cool. Cute. Oh, that's kind of cool. And once you get the body built, uh, it would look kind of cool. I think. Maybe we'll we'll try it again once <laughs> I get more done here. I'm disappointed in the solution to this. <laughs> you know, he asked a decent question, and we couldn't. We couldn't. Couldn't do what somebody said we could do. But I'll put this. Back we, on. You'd have to kind of scratch build it a little bit. Some modification. Yeah, but it's nothing I haven't done before. Trying to make plastic join together. Okay, we've now debunked a myth on Mythbusters Gump TV. Okay. All right, let's yep. move on to the Merchant of Death. Oh man, this is scaring oh, me. Man. Is my time up? <laughs> yeah. Hi guys, another mm. great episode. Mm. Just Thanks. ordered a few kits from your winter sale. Finally ordered the PG Unicorn. Oh, nice. <gasps> Unfortunately, I will have to wait to build it until I can order the LEDs. Yeah, well, you don't have to wait to build it because you can always take it apart and put the LEDs in it. They yeah. provide you the instructions oh. to do that. Um, I, I think it's worth mentioning that the LEDs should be coming back in February. February. Soon. So I think you can place orders on the site now. Is it unlocked again? No, yeah, it says back ordered. It's open? So okay. open it. So um, I believe you can place orders for this. And if you do it within the next week or so, mm. we go to the distributors at the cutoff date and say, we need this many. You know, there's a good chance we can get them. So if okay. you're waiting on an LED, it's kind of now's the time. Get your orders in soon. Coming in February. Coming in February. Yeah, so I'm putting aside one more LED for me. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that's for. No comment. Oh. <laughs> okay, I got some prizes to give away, right? Let me give my comments here. And I got them down here somewhere. We had a revived goof. Goof. Goof, there he is. We had the boo goo, the goof. Goof, yep. This goes to comment number 14. 
40, another low number. I know, random number generator, that's lowballing us. Uh, it's the Shadow Gamer, Shadow name I recognize. Game. The Shadow Nose. He says, <laughs> man, that's old. What upcoming kit in 2017 are you looking forward to the most? Huh. I can't wait to get my hands on the RG Gold Frame Amatsu. Okay, so Todd, want to answer that question? What are you looking forward to? Ah, in 2017. That you know of. That, yeah, that we know of. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go with an odd one. Just say the Atlas. No, oh, you, you're not this guy. You mentioned yeah. that already. So I can assume, I can understand that. Uh, I'm waiting for the MG Providence. Oh, okay. I think that'll be fun. Of course, the RG Gold Frame is going to be cool too, but Providence. Mm. An all new MG probably. Okay, so uh, Shadow Gamer, I'll be contacting him. And now I have a Grace Kai, a Grace Custom. Ooh, 100 kit from IBM. The one with the good feet. The one with the good feet. I should keep the feet and give him the old feet. <laughs> Here's the Grace Custom, but it's missing some feet. Uh, yeah, no guarantees of what's inside the box. <laughs> feet or no feet. Okay, this goes to RSN Putra, Putra. comment number 63. He says, I really want those two posters. Well, I guess one of the giveaway will work fine. Oh, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> Your second choice is right here. There you go. Um, there you, so, RSN Putra. Again, I'll be contacting you guys through Hobby League TV. Check your private messages in a few days. Okay? I should be on there. Um, now, we're going to give away one, one kit this week. One kit this week. Dig it out here. It's not even that old. Oh, okay. HGC Force Impulse. HGC Force Impulse. We had it on the show a couple months ago, right? Oh. He's missing a it's head. He's missing a head. Because didn't you boil the head to, 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 to show oh, some he's of in that? There. Yeah, I got it. We had that uh, the option set. That's right. I was going to say, give me that option set because you stole my head. But <laughs> here we go. Take off the core splendor here. Yeah, this is a fun kit. Put this on. Is that how it goes on? I'm missing an adapter or something. Oh, yeah, it's, it's in the box somewhere. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. I can't remember which one's which. Anyway, there's my force impulse. Oh, oh close enough. Yeah, extra, <laughs> the extra shield and everything else. See, you have to put this piece on, which is supposed to be the uh, folded, folded up splendor, right? I think that's what it's called. And then you can slide that on. And there you go. Looks cool. That pretty crazy force impulse. Let me get some mini airplanes in there too. Yeah, they're all in there. The silhouette, the flyer silhouette, or whatever they call it. So there you go, somebody's gonna win this great HG CE kit. I'll take it back apart to fit it in this box. Mm. Todd, do you want to tell them how they can win this amazing prize? Sure, why not? All right, so if you guys would like Sorry, to win... Sorry, manual, I don't know what happened. It's a little bit bent. But that's okay. If you guys would like to win the Force Impulse Gundam, yeah. please leave a comment on episode number 227 on Gumpla TV. There you go. Not the YouTube comments. Yeah. The Gunpla TV comments for Hobby episode. Link TV. Hobby Link TV. Yeah. Hobby Link TV comments for episode 226. 226. There you go. One winner will be chosen and random. One winner. One winner. So, okay. Next week, Todd. Yeah. That's going to be exciting. Yeah. We're going to have some big stuff next week. Yeah, it's going to be a big You're, episode. I don't know if I'll be finished. <laughs> Maybe I'll be finished the actual MS, right? Oh, and then I'll okay. bring in the backpack the week after mm. and then we'll put them together and watch it like just stand there. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to take me some time because I'm going slow and trying to like really see what this is all about. And of course, I'm putting on the frame covers, which yeah, is taking fine. Some time. Well, I think the week after that is only Vidar. So. Yeah, we have the Vidar. So. The Vidar so soon. Vidar so soon. The Vidar so soon. <laughs> Crickets. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are brought to you by HLJ. Japan. Japan. Support us. Buy your kits from us. Take advantage of our winter sale because that's right. going to be extended. It did get extended. Yeah, it did. 22nd, was it? 20 22nd. 22nd? There was talk in the office. Hey, let's just extend it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just keep going. Why so not? we're going to keep going. And uh, after that, we have new kits coming after the Vidar, of course. Mm. It's going to kind of slow down for the year and holidays. But then January comes. January Team comes. Sniper, those kind of things. Ah. So lots of kits are on the way. 2017 already is looking good. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Is that all we have to say? So Todd well, needs to say something. Quit <laughs> hiding behind your box, Todd. <laughs> all right. So if you guys want, you can find us on yeah. Facebook. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on Reddit. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on, of course, hlj.com. Tumblr. Tumblr. What else am I missing? I don't know. <laughs> They're all there. We are everywhere. We are as everywhere. We always except say. MySpace. Yeah. We always say that too. So let's just stop. <laughs> Just find us on the internet. HLJ.com, type it into Google. There you go. Um, goodbye.
Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck indeed. Okay. See you guys later. Thank you.